Hey you, how's it? Good to see you. Thanks for joining on this uh, part of the Blitz series. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're slowly but surely working our way down the basics list in the documentation. Today we're looking at the script component. We are taking it bit by bit. The script tag or component uh, in Blitz works slightly different to what you would normally put in the head of your HTML. So usually, in this case, we're looking at, at the Blitz document.js file. This would be your head. And normally, if you cop copy a tag from, say, Google Analytics, they would tell you to put the tag into the head of your, of your project. Blitz does explain that to us. What makes Blitz different and what makes it a lot easier, again, to work with and to save you time is that it allows you to set a loading strategy for a script. Now there are three loading strategies that you can choose to use with your script. The first one is before interactive. As per the definition for critical scripts that need to be fetched and executed before the page is interactive. So maybe you want to check if someone is logged in before you actually display the page. Maybe there's a big banner slider that is at the very top of your page and you don't necessarily want to have the nav bar load and have a static image load and then someone sees an arrow and clicks on it and then it doesn't work. So maybe we want that banner to load before we actually display to the user so that they can click on it immediately the default strategy to use that you that you can use is after interactive so this is for things that can load after your initial page load has been done and someone can actually click on like the before mentioned example the example they give here is tag managers and analytics. Now there's no reason we need to drastically immediately load a Google tag analytics file before the website is interactive. That is something that we can with confidence load after the fact. And then we have lazy on load. Now this is stuff that can load while the user is scrolling through the page. This is re really the lowest priority of loading that can be done. So this would be your chat widget. Maybe it is your payment portals code that needs to execute. So you can have inline scripts with after interactive and lazy on load, not before interactive. Now they're just showing us how this usually would work. Usually you would put your script in the head tag and you would load it asynchronously. But now we can use our script tag anywhere within the body of our project. So here we have a home page and we are literally just dropping the script tag within the React fragment, which can sit anywhere within your body of your file. This is just an example of lazy loading. This is going to save a lot of time. You don't have to worry about positioning your scripts in the footer or do this and that to kind of take control over it. Uh, we can just use the loading strategies. There's something you need to note quickly. In Blitz 0.42.0, we are still using the script component. It looks like from version 0.43 going forward, this will change to Blitz script. Not just script like that. It will be Blitz script. And I think they did this just uh, to make it a little bit more clear that you're actually using the Blitz script component. It can be easy to miss this if you just have a, a script tag like that. You know, it is uppercase, but easy to miss. So I think that's a little bit more explicit, easier to see. 
And that's basically an overview of how the scripts will work. And you literally just pass your source and you can say after interactive and then we can maybe do this as a lazy on load. Now I've been investigating how this affects performance. I've tried to do this with just a Blitz page, I cloned the Blitz website. But because this is a super optimized website and a lot of it is just static content and there are no real scripts loading, uh, it's very hard for me to see a difference in, in, in performance. So I would love to test this in the wild a little bit more and then update you guys if I have more info on that. Thanks for watching. The next thing we are looking at in the list would be CSS. And our CSS, the built-in CSS works within Blitz. Thank you and see you soon, mates.